I could have everything in order and I'll then be monitoring for symmetrical rise and fall of the chest. I'm making sure that I'm not seeing obstructive or seesaw or paradoxical breathing, which means that the diaphragm is contracting, but there's instructions so you get chest wall recession. Another indicator is fogging of the mask. So you might see fogging as the patient ex exhales. There's some more fancy monitors. For example, if you're in the anesthetic circumstance or quick care situations, or you have a team with the right adjuncts, you'll be able to do end tidal carbon dioxide monitoring. And that means if you have a positive end tidal trace, that means you're ventilating the lungs. So in the anesthetic context, we always have this monitor on. It's one of those mandatory elements of any patient who's anesthetized, which needs ventilation. Often people will talk about the saturations as being the thing you look for. Now just know that saturations are the latest sign. Once your ventilation has stopped, your saturations will still be normal up until anywhere from 10 seconds to a couple of minutes depending on the patient's reserve and oxygen stores and metabolic capacity and metabolic rate.